Welcome to Twilio Tip Tuesday. Twilio tips are never longer than two minutes, so let's get started. Tip number three is environment variables. An environment variable is a key value pair that describes some aspect of your development environment that programs you write will have access to. In fact, most programming languages have support for reading and writing environment variables. Perhaps the most well-known environment variable is path. Path lets your shell or command prompt on Windows know where the executable files on your system are so that you don't have to type these paths to run common programs. But you can set your own environment variables, often for safely storing credentials. For instance, you might store your Twilio account SID and Twilio auth token in environment variables so the Twilio applications you write have access to them. Let's see how easy it is to set environment variables. I'll show you how it works in Windows and for Mac OS slash Linux. Over in Windows, hit Command R to get a run window and type in sysdm.cpl. Go to the Advanced tab and click on Environment Variables at the bottom. Click New under the User Variables for your account and then type in the variable name that you want to add and a value for it from the Twilio console and hit OK. Let's check the process for Mac and Linux. In the Mac or Linux bash terminal, you can use export to set a variable name to its value. Then you can use echo with a dollar sign in front of the variable to output the value. This change won't persist between sessions, so you'll want to add this export statement to your .bashrc file. There's more details about that down in the description below this video. Once you have your credentials saved, you can use them in code. Here is the node code to load the Twilio account SID and Twilio auth token from the environment variables and use them to instantiate a Twilio REST client. Here's a pro tip though, if you follow this naming scheme, you don't even need to access these environment variables directly, you can just instantiate the Twilio REST client and Twilio will find them with those names. 